sometimes we talk about things that are relating to doing with your horse and sometimes we, we talk about things that are relating to being with your horse. Today it's about doing. I want to give you seven proven ways that I know of, and there's more than seven, but at least seven, that you can move from that phase of deciding to actually doing with your horse. And this is going to help you to cut out deciding and actually get to the doing. Hi, my name is Chris Addison. I'm the founder of For the Horse and Harmony for the Horse. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. If you wait for everything to be perfect, you will never get out there with your horse and get doing things because it's not going to be perfect. If you're waiting for perfection, will change from being an emotional decision to wanting to be with your horse to one of reason. So when you're in that reasoning frame of mind, you're gonna talk yourself out of going out there with your horse. Take tiny steps towards your goal each day. These are so powerful, these tiny incremental small steps that you do every day are key and a must. How you do this, this is a key point to getting this done, is that you need to determine one or two non-negotiables. And by non-negotiables, I mean things that you know will help you to reach your goal with your horse. Like, I actually have to get out there and ride, or I have to go out and do in-hand work. I need to lead my horse in the forest. And by non-negotiables, I mean also that that cannot be changed. It has to happen. It has to happen every day, and it can be as small or as large as you want, but it has to happen every day. It can just be a commitment of 10 minutes. That's all you need. If you commit to 10 minutes to maybe doing in hand with your horse, you'll find that you'll get out there and you'll say you're gonna do 10 minutes, but you'll end up actually doing probably a lot more because you get into it, right? I know that happens to me. Things like the weather, it's too cold, it's too slippery. I don't have the clothes to keep me warm. I don't have the footwear to help me from slipping. Maybe an illness of our horses or us, those things are always lurking. They can stop us. So you've got to get out there now. What about a tragedy? Open to tragedy happening. Like, don't wait for a tragedy to happen to make you realize that I better get out with my horse. I can't wait any longer. That happened with me when my horse was tragically killed in an accident a couple of winters ago. I had decided years before that to make my program and to build a program, but I actually didn't get out there and do it until a tragic event happened in my life that made me sit up and realize time is running out. I have to do this now. And I developed my program shortly after the death of my horse, who was my, my top dressage horse. So don't wait for that to happen. What about daylight hours? Maybe you come home from work and it's dark. How do you get around that? How do you, how do you hold yourself true to your non-negotiables of spending at least 10 minutes a day with your horse? Well, maybe you don't come home straight for work, but you go to your barn, for example, and you go and work with your horse right away and then you come home and then you get nice and warm and have your dinner, etc. To focus on the present, even if your 10 minutes of a non-negotiable is going out and grooming your horse for that day, in that 10 minutes, focus on the present. Get your work day out of your mind. Let that go, try to breathe, ground yourself, and be in the present because your horse is in the present. So you wanna meet your horse where they're at and be in the present. Now put everything you've got Whatever you do with your horse, put everything you've got into it. Don't do it half-baked half or piecemeal. Put everything you've got for those 10 minutes into doing that with your horse. And that means eliminating distractions. Set yourself up so you can eliminate those distractions. You can go out, you can be present with your horse. You won't have distractions and those 10 minutes will be quality 10 minutes with your horse. Rider self-care. This is something that we 
all are guilty of not giving us ourselves is self-care. And part of that is taking breaks, right? So although I'm talking about doing with your horse, I'm also saying you need to take breaks. And in those breaks, that's when you can get so much accomplished. It can be very fruitful to take a break and to sit back and reflect on what you've maybe done over the past several months of your non-negotiables. Reflect on that and then help yourself to go past the plateau that you may be in right now and up to the next level. Study theory. Even if it's only a little bit of theory, it can help you. Take part of your day or part of uh, every second day to study the theory behind the, of where you want to go with your horse. Is it classical dressage? Is it a trail riding? Whatever it is, study the theory behind that because there is always theory that will help your deeper understanding. And that's what we have in our program. We have all of these things combined into our program into a multidisciplinary approach which will help you and keep you on task, hold you accountable. Make sure you get your non-negotiables done so that you make progress and you don't get to the end of the year and say, what have I done with my horse? I haven't reached the goals that I wanted to reach. So if you'd like support with any of these things that I've talked about, there'll be a link somewhere around this video that you can click on and we can chat and see how we can help you with, with what's keeping you stuck in that deciding phase rather than actually jumping in and getting out and doing it.